Okay, so today we are talking about parent functions, uh, mainly so that we can review our digital classroom and how to input this information. So I'm really quickly going to go through these slides because what I need you to do is, using Microsoft Word, you are inputting this information into your digital guided notes. So this is how you can do it without ever printing it out. Okay, so what is a parent function in its simplest way? It is just a the simplest form of a family of functions. So my quadratic uh, is a parent function that's x squared, but we could have all sorts of transformations of it. It could be x plus 3 squared or whatever, and that's the parent function of it is simply that quadratic form. We're going to be talking about a few things today, domain, range, y intercept, and zeros. Those are basic concepts that we should recall from algebra. My domain is where my x exists. Make sure you're writing it in interval, interval form from a to b. Range is the y interval form. y intercept is where it hits. Make sure you're writing it in coordinate form. Your x value should be zero and you should have some y value. Your zeros and roots, which is where I hit the x-axis, my y value should be zero. I should write this in coordinate form. And finally, we are going to talk about increasing and decreasing. Just a brief reminder, talking about my smiles and my frowns, that just means concave up and concave down. We have increasing and decreasing on both sides. So if I have concave up, if I look at that smile, um, I can see that it is decreasing here as my y is decreasing, my x is increasing. And here I've got a concave up increasing, y is increasing, x is increasing. Concave down, as my y decreases, my x is increasing, and uh, concave down increasing, as my y increasing, my x is increasing. So just a visual representation of our decreasing and our increasing. So my constants, this is the information you are trying to fill out. Of course, it's a YouTube video, so pause and fill out this information. So we've got our equations, domain range increasing, decreasing, y-intercepts, zeros and roots. If you're struggling with these uh, parts of parent functions, please come see me. So my constant, here's my linear, absolute value, quadratics, the square root function, my cubic function, not to be confused with my cube root function, my reciprocal has, you know, it can be called reciprocal, the inverse, and it can technically be called rational because it is a ratio, it is a fraction. The standard one is simply one over x squared, or sorry, one over x, but we also have a rational squared, so that's 1 over x squared. And then we can explore all sorts of rational functions there on in, and it just becomes more complicated and more complex. Logarithmic functions, exponential functions, and finally we get into our three trig standard functions, which is our sine, our cosine, and our tangent. And I didn't get too deep into this because this has to do with you're the period and um, dealing with like my amplitude, it tends to be the range sometimes, but it isn't. So it's, it's a little bit more complex with tricks. So with this, I just kind of show, can you recognize it? Do you know its equation, et cetera? Okay, that's it.